Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy and Scott Leroy Marketing coming in front of the weekly tip. And today's tip is actually about how to change your KDB.com email. So we get this question all the time of, you know, hey, I set up my KDB.com email. Uh, the, the biggest one is I'm now married, I have a new last name, or I have a new team name, or anything of that sort. I want to change my KDB.com email. Can I do that? And the answer is an astounding yes. All right, so you can actually change it. And the good part is when you change it, the email you had previously will become the alias email. So that way, if anyone ever emails the old email address, it'll automatically funnel over to your new one. All right, so both will go to the same inbox. Now, what you'll need to do first is hover over technology in the black bar on the MyKW homepage and go to KW email, approximately that fifth option or sixth option down on here. Let me see if I can count that correctly. All right, so the sixth option down for KW email. Now, once we're back on here, this is where you would typically sign up for the email, but instead we're going to manage your KW email on here. All right, so once we do manage your KDB email, then you can actually come through here and request an alias. So if you notice, I've requested ridiculous amounts of aliases on here. All right, so all you have to do, and you can have up to five alias emails, so any of these aliases will automatically funnel to my main one of scottleroy at kdb.com. So then I can click on here to request a new alias, select our primary email, which is the one we want changed, and then put inside whatever you'd like. So your new email. All right, so this is where you'll put inside the new email address you want without the at kdb.com. And remember, it has to be at least four to 20 characters. Only lowercase letters, numbers, dashes, underscores, or periods are allowed, and it has to start with a letter. All right, so as long as it fits that criteria and it doesn't have any of the invalid words like agent, real estate, realty, uh, realtor, you know, KW unless they're your initials, RE unless they're your initials, all right, then you're good to go. Now, once you click that submit request option, that'll automatically submit this off for you. All right, so then once it's actually submitted and it says this has been sent off for approval, then you can contact KDBRI. All right, so the quickest way to contact KDBRI to ask them to make this change is to go over to agent.kdb.com, all right, for your command account. Click on the support option down here at the bottom. It's going to come up with your little support chat bot. All right, and then right when this comes up, then it'll say get in touch. It doesn't take very long. If you notice, maybe three to four or five seconds at the most. So when you click on get in touch, all right, then it'll typically pop up with a chat option if you're contacting during Monday through Friday, normal business hours. All right, or of course, you can always leave a message on here too and ask them to change out that email to make it the new primary and the old one, the alias. All right, so they will need to hear from you guys in order to make this change out. But I just want to give you a heads up. That's the simplest way to swap out that email so that way you'll have a new primary right away. So there you go. So that is your MyKW tip for the day.